Hi guys, welcome to Amayal TV. You know whenever I'm on your screens, that means we have someone amazing, doing amazing stuff, someone who is creative, someone who is talented, and today I can't wait to let you guys in on this person because it's very different from our usual musicians and actresses and creatives. It's something very, very exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to know more about this kind of music and I'm sure you are too. Do not forget to subscribe while you are at it and I'll be back with more. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So like I said, today I'm seated with a very handsome man, you know, like a very, very handsome in all his, you know, kinty and royal-ness. Um He's in the person of Derek Simpe. That's right. I mean, Derek, it's exciting to have you on Amiya TV. Welcome. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Your name sounds Ghanaian. You're Ghanaian if I'm right. Oh, I'm Ghanaian. 100%. Born, bred here. I wasn't born here. Okay. Bred from Ghana. Oh. Yeah. How, how did your childhood start in Ghana and how did your journey to music start, if I should say? Well, my childhood started in Amsterdam oh. because that's where I was born. All right. um, basically, my, my music career started from primary school. So during primary school, there was this after school activity right. where you could sign up to and just catch a vibe, you know. Mm. And then there was this lady, she was playing this beautiful instrument that I've just... <laughs> I'm going to introduce to you. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and the way she was playing it and the song that she was playing, it was the song by, I don't think, I think you know it, Jamin by Bob Marley. Oh, Jamin, Jamin. Yeah. So she was playing that song and I was like, hey, I know this song, but it sounds so different and nice. Right. And she saw the way I was looking at her. Your eyes like, were sparkly. So, yeah, so <laughs> interested, like, wow. And she saw that and she was like, okay, this guy, I need you to come you can try this instrument. So I did, and since that day, I never stopped playing. Was that your first time being introduced to any form of musical instrument, or you had tried your hands on different instruments, guitars, you know, violins? Well, back in the day, I was more of a sports guy. Yeah, so if it was football, <laughs> if it was basically anything to do with sports or the body, I was, I was there. So when this came, I was like, okay, this is different but I don't mind trying it. That's how I am. I like to try different stuff. And that's how I came about to play this instrument. So tell us, what is this instrument and what's so special about it? And what makes it so different from the other instruments that a lot of kids are, you know, prone to learning when they're growing up? Well, first of all, this instrument isn't common at all. You will not find this, I don't think you will find this in Ghana or anyone playing this in Ghana. Mm. Even where I come from in Amsterdam, they don't play it often. Mm. It's just a handful of people that know the instrument and play the instrument like I do. So, um, yeah, basically when, whenever you, you play this type of, type of music, the vibe it brings, it's always positive. It reminds people of the sun, mm -hmm. of good vibes, mm -hmm. because it originally comes from the islands, the Caribbean side. Yeah. So it just bring calm, you know, the waves, the waters. Positivity, that, that good calm. vibes, that kind of thing. What kind of music do you play? You, you still not told us the name of the instrument, by the way. I haven't told you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's called the steel drum. The steel drum. Yeah. So compared to our traditional drums, boom, 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 yeah. this is a drum made out of steel. Completely made out of 100% steel. What kind of music um, would, you, would, you, would you say this instrument, the steel drum, generates? You know, there's the, there's the soul, there's the blues, there's the jazz. What kind of music do, you, do, you, do, you, do creative usually term the music that is created by the steel? Usually, Caribbean style. So you should think about soca, Ooh. calypso, Ooh. dancehall. Ooh. That's the vibe where it usually it comes from there, you know? Right. The way I play it. It's totally different. And that's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it exciting. How do you play it? How I play it, I mix it with Afro beats. So in this case, oh, you will love it. I know you will love it. Ooh, anything <laughs> Afro, we love it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> the way I'll be playing it for you, you'll be recognizing songs and like, okay. I didn't know it could come in this form. Yeah, so it can literally be Afro beats, jazz, R&B, hip hop, anything that has some kind of musical vibe to it, you can mm -hmm. just 
combine. Combine and create sounds yeah. with it. Um, let's talk about your journey as an artist um, who plays steel drum compared to other creatives who do the violins and the other, you know, they're usually termed as extremely successful and, you know, their, their career is one that you get bookings often, you know, to get to play shows. Um, do, you, do, do, do that happen to you? Do you get people book you to come play at their events? And how has that journey been, being a, um, a still jam player? Well, the reason why I came to Ghana was actually because I was booked for a wedding. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> this Saturday I'll be performing on someone's wedding. And like the journey has been very amazing. Mm. I've been booked for so many things like festivals, mm. restaurants, mm. bars, mm. birthday parties, mm. a lot of weddings nowadays. Um, Look for alternative entertainment. Basically, yeah. And it can be inside Amsterdam or Ghana mm. or internationally, because mm. I'm also in London, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, all through booking. So. It's definitely possible. Wow. Definitely didn't see it that <laughs> way because it's my first time experiencing it. But I it's know, exciting to see that you get flewed out, you know, to come play because of this drum. Now let's let's look at the future from here. You know, you're back in Ghana. How are you trying to connect with the Ghanaian sounds and the Ghanaian artists to try to push the the sounds that is created by the steel drum? Yeah, right now the focus is to let everyone know this exists in the first place because it's not common at all. Mm. Um, so right now we're just trying to make sure that everyone get, gets to see the vibe, gets to see the instrument, gets to see how the sound comes and how I play. And from there, I think the next step will be how can we help you? So from the experience, the music, the style that we have, we can bring it to you and you can we can vibe, we can talk about it and create something totally different. Yeah. In terms of collaborating with artists to put this kind Collaborations of Collaborations with dancers, artists, musicians, anyone, anything that makes something with music. Yeah. Do, do, do you see that journey being a smooth one? For it being a new instrument, especially to the Ghanaian audience and the Ghanaian scene, do, 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 do you foresee the difficulties that you're likely to face in, in this journey? Well, I think it can be a double-edged sword. Meaning, on the other side, people can, they don't know, so they might not really go for it because they don't know. Right. On the other side, some people are very interested and like new things. So when they see it, they'll be like, hey, I didn't see this. I didn't know this. Let me try something different. So it's a balance between what everyone wants to try and accept. Or if you're not open to new things, you might stay a bit far away. You mentioned collaboration with dancers. Um, how calm and cool the sounds from the steel drum is and how very aggressive and athletic the Ghanaian <laughs> dance moves are. Do you see that combination working? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've actually had a program, a project in Amsterdam mm -hmm. where we worked together with, it was dancers from the National Theater from National Ghana. Theater. Yeah, and we were combining the steel drums with Djembe, the tr traditional drums and dancers and it was Perfect. a whole different experience because wow. you would never get to see that combination. I don't think you get to see that combination often. So yeah, it's possible and I think people will like it. People will yeah. like it. I, I mean, like it's, it's it. a I new people generation. Like people definitely. like trying new things, yeah. so they're definitely going to... Let's look at the bigger, extreme bigger picture. Do you see yourself, you know, coming back to Ghana in, say, a year or two and hosting a whole show by yourself, you know, whilst putting on other people, but then your, your, you and your drum are the main focus. Is that part of your vision plan in any way? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the steel drum there. It's, it's going like to, yeah, it's going to get big. I'm just, it's going to get big. Excited. Is there, is there any, any um, particular creatives you are eyeing at working at? Like, there are these creatives that you definitely want to get them on your contact list and to work things out and for them to help you push this steel drum agenda. Well, there's this one guy I'm going to work with Ooh, already. Yeah. Like I want to mention his name, Trigmatic. So that's Trig is our guy. We love Trig. Okay. <laughs> that's and what I mean with, with, with yeah, with different kinds of vibe. Yeah. That's at least one guy. Yeah. My stay won't be too long in Ghana. So everything that we're going to do will be very effective. Right. In that sense. So 
Hey, time will tell. Time will tell. Um, steel drums and getting the ordinary Ghanaian to like steel drum. Do you have promotional plans in terms of social media followings, um, websites where people can get more details about you and your steel drums and how people can find information on you and your ads? Definitely. You can find me on Instagram by the name of Derek Simpe. Derek spelled as D-E-R-E-K. Okay. Simpe as S I M P E. Why? Oh, guys, Derek Simpe, D E R E K and S I M P E Y. So please, please look for Derek on social media. We are very privileged to be, you know, enjoying the special sounds from Derek and his steel drum, and you're definitely going to get a first taste of it. So do stick and stay. That's coming up very shortly, and make sure you follow him and check out all the other things that he has planned. And this has been on our TV. We've had an exciting conversation. If you didn't know about the steel drum, now you know. I know about it, and I'm going to look for more sounds about it and enjoy it. But in the meantime, enjoy what Derek has, especially for Amiyao TV viewers. We love you. We'll see you same time, same place. Bye for now.